This is the Behringer iNuke 6000. Uh, it had just stopped working. It stopped, so today I wanted to see what's inside of it. Let's see. To open it, you're gonna need uh, a Phillips screwdriver. So light, you're gonna see what's inside of it. Inside, I nuke 6000. Okay, it has two, four, six screws on top of it. Okay. Put this back here. All right, now let's open it. Let me see any more screws. All right, there we go. Welcome inside of the Inox 6000. That's all the inside look like. It has like two built-in fans. Yep, as you can see. This is the inside of the annual. Now, are these two are uh, the two inputs, and those two right there, these are the X on, uh, these are the speak on, out. For those of you probably are worse, was wondering what's inside of the INUX 6000, this is inside of it. <laughs> that's why it's so light, because it doesn't have those big, 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 big magnet that's, that the old uh, amplifiers used to have. So they make it easy and lighter. But the only thing is it don't last too long. Or you can't really you know, push it too hard. Yep. Alright, the I nuke. One more time the face. Baron J. I nuke 6000. Alright, people, thank you.